welcome to the Hero Network. Hola everybody, it is I, your lord and savior Nero, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Zippy the Porcupine 4 Act Demo. This is essentially Sonic the Hedgehog on the 2600. It's made by a guy named Spry Bug, as far as I can tell, and the full game is going to have 19 levels. But we're going to start off with Hill Zone. This is again a 4 act, <coughs> excuse me, a 4 act demo, and my god. People do remember this is an Atari 2600 game, <laughs> and it's uh, it's pretty much playing like an 8-bit Sonic game would, uh, automatic loops and shit. But uh, still, this this is fucking amazing for the 2600. I mean, you gotta give this guy some major major props. The fuck. <laughs> Unfortunately, that uh, invincibility didn't last too long, but there is. One little issue I have, although I, uh, <laughs> I've gotten a little used to it, because it is a mentality for the time frame, or I should say the type of games that tend to be on the Atari and other systems of the age, but, uh, it's very trial and error style gameplay, but, uh, all in all, still really good. It's, it can get pretty fucking tough, though, and unfortunately the lives counter at the bottom doesn't work. I am, of course, using save states because I the the last level is pretty fucking challenging. But anywho, here we are at Cave Zone. I'm guessing this is essentially his version of Marble Zone, going by the music. But then again, there's 19 levels, so who knows what's going to happen with the music? <laughs> Let's see about scrolling that uh, ring monitor back on screen. Go! Uh, but yeah, Sonic, uh, he's got his... Oh, shit. Die. <laughs> <clears throat> the jump can be gimped if you have... If you are, like, up against any object. So, be careful about that. <laughs> yeah, this isn't gonna be a perfect run. This game can be tough, and the, the certain little issues probably brought on by technical limitations. Uh, you know, it, it causes little issues here and there. But this is still fantastic. One thing that needs to be remembered is making anything for the uh, the Atari. That's the second time I rammed into that fucker. Making anything for the Atari is a programming challenge. <laughs> and I, I mean, this this is amazing for fucking Atari. I'm I'm gonna have to start looking around for more uh, Atari homebrew stuff because if there's more games of this type of quality out there like under 2600 homebrew and shit I'm a uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to give in to that and <laughs> get my Atari on shit it's one of my favorite consoles so why not and it should be everyone's favorite now that area fucked me over so much but basically you have to get on that little platform that the enemy is on and then you just run the platform grows as you run if you jump or anything like that, the platform will instantly stop growing and you're just gonna fall to your death. I've had that happen so many times to me in earlier non-record- or what I thought was recorded playthroughs, but were non-recorded. But anywho, here is stage 3, Star Zone. So yeah, we're just gonna say fuck a lot of other levels and go straight to Starlight. Hell yeah. This game knows where it's at. And check that, actual bumpers. <laughs> of course, I, I did really horribly with that, so let's try that again, shall we? Yay! You have to head up there just to get over that little wall, but... Nice little thing, teaches you about the bumpers and the bouncing mechanics of the, uh, the higher level. <clears throat> I know in certain levels there's uh, springs up in the, the higher section, so it does make me wonder. I've never had this much issue with these springs until this playthrough. 
or staying up there, I should say. Um, occasionally, up on the second levels, there'll be additional springs. So there's three tier, at least three tier level design here. But unfortunately, I keep missing those springs. And I'm not even sure if I encountered one in this playthrough. Yeah, invincibility. Let's just go ahead and pretty much rape everything on screen. Yeah, there was one. But I always notice it too late, and momentum always tends to carry me past it, so it's one of those you have to know it's there, and you have to prepare for it kind of things. But huzzah! With that out of the way, we are now entering the final stage of this little 4-act demo. And my god, Aquazone, fuck you. Although it is fit in Labyrinth Zone as the uh, the final act, <laughs> or at least in this demo. But oh, this this level is the reason why I wanted to make sure to use save states. Now uh, this is supposed to be the underwater section, but thankfully he didn't. Per I'm not even sure if he would have been able to, but. He didn't program, you know, like, drowning or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that when you're underwater. Basically, it's, it's, the game acts like it slows down, I guess would be the best way to put it. And that's where I had just not enough momentum, so my jump was gimped out of high hell, and hello, Death, how you doing? My name's Lord Nero. Now, I, I never pay attention at the to the door until I'm already down, but I could have sworn I hit that fucking switch the first time. And I was apparently so dumbfounded, I just jumped right off. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. If you have too much momentum when you're trying to jump from the lower platform to the higher platform, you will just jump right off. <laughs> And... yay! Fuck. Okay, well I got a shield. Now what? <laughs> yeah, this is one of those, uh... It's, it's a trap, essentially. It, it's not a trap you can't get out of. I, I have, uh, actually gotten out of here. But, um... Yeah, it, it's still a trap. <laughs> Anywho, uh... My speed was a little too fast, so I ended up careening right off the edge because I wasn't able to stop in time. <laughs> and check this one out. No comment. Seriously. D-E-D. -E -D. Dead. Bullshit. See, I told you I could get out. Anywho, with that out of the way, <laughs> let's get back to Aqua Zone, also known as a uh, Labyrinth from Hell. But yeah, unfortunately I did spoil some ladder sections in that little uh, video, but this is where I eventually end up beating the level, so uh, you're welcome. Otherwise you would have been sitting here for well over 20 minutes. <laughs> Just in Aquazone alone. Uh, no? Thank you. Oh, and you, you need to 
time your jump in that area accordingly as well, or else you'll hit the, the top path, or top platform I should say, and uh, your jump will gimp. Yeah, after enough times I got really paranoid about jumping there, but unfortunately it's, it's a lot harder to just inch Sonic along. Now while this is when I do end up beating the level, that doesn't mean I'm not going to have my share of deaths either. <laughs> it does happen, and I'm still very wary about that fucking uh, bridge thing. And uh, I guess I was so wary I decided to commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, the, you do need to have a very particular amount of speed in order to make certain jumps. Hopefully that can be handled to an extent in the uh, either in the next demo or the the final product. But um I I'm eagerly awaiting this. Which is even though this is only one video long, I'm considering it an actual let's play video because when this game reaches final and I I really, really hope it does, then I'm definitely doing a, a full playthrough of it. And, ugh. Oh, I tried, but oh my god, that part is so bullshit. <laughs> that is something I would say, change up a little bit, Sprybug. Please. <laughs> I mean, there, there's challenge, and this game has plenty of it, but then there's just bullshit, and that's that's what I call bullshit. <laughs> Although, it, it did make for a little funny scene earlier, and thank you, I don't need it. <laughs> and at this point, I say screw it, I'm just, I'm gonna stay in the water. I've, I've gotten much better used to uh, how it plays down here than what it does up there, in which it, it feels just really speeded up by comparison. Yay, but that also means I gotta deal with the... Okay, I don't have to deal with the spike thing. <laughs> because of that, I'm really, really trying to keep it so that I don't scroll that off screen. Thankfully, it didn't scroll far enough off. Because those spikes are gone. Which makes my job much easier, so it's like, fuck it, take it. <laughs> this is how I roll. On the 2600, bitches. <laughs> Anywho, huzzah, that was the end of the four-act demo for Zippy the Porcupine, or what you can also refer to as Sonic the Hedgehog 2600s. A downport, downport, downport made by Sprybug. Final game should have a grand total of 19 levels, but that's also what he's aiming for. And who knows, I think it's supposed to be a 64 kilobyte ROM. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, then please, by all means, leave a like, comment, favorite, and of course, subscribe. I'm always looking for more. Anywho, I shall see you when I feel like it.